Good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be here this morning to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the Gaithersburg Book Festival. Um, it's an honor to be joined by the following individuals, uh, Mayor Judd Ashman, members of the Gaithersburg Book Festival Steering Committee, Gaithersburg Cultural Arts Committee Chair, John Morgiello, uh, Politics and Prose owner, Brad Graham, and C-SPAN Book TV producers, Leona Blakey and John McArdle. Thank you all for joining us. Earlier this year, I attended a Gaithersburg Book Festival special event with Billy Collins, a former two-time U.S. Poet Laureate. It was an amazing experience and an evening of laughter, word play, and brilliance I will not soon forget. Over the last 15 years, the Gaithersburg Book Festival has uniquely celebrated the literary arts. This free event draws guests, authors, and poets worldwide to celebrate the power of the written word. As a former Gaithersburg City Council member, organizing this proclamation with my colleague and former council member Sydney Katz was of the utmost importance. Unfortunately, reading and writing are under scrutiny as state legislatures and institutions nationwide attempt to limit and control reading options in our schools and libraries. Given that Gaithersburg is the most diverse city in the United States and a significant number of black and Latino students are reading below the literacy rate benchmarks, we must support events like the Gaithersburg Book Festival. This year's Gaithersburg Book Festival will take place on May 18th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Bower Park and will feature more than 100 authors and illustrators from across the world. I look forward to attending and celebrating with guests from near and far, especially families and children, to join us at this fun event. Uh, before I turn it over to our special guests, I will give Councilmember Katz the mic to say a few words. She mentioned that I'm not a special guest. Did she just mention? Thank you, Council Member Sales. Uh, as the Council Member for the Third District, I truly am proud to recognize the 15th anniversary of the Gaithersburg Book Festival. As was casually mentioned, at this annual all day celebration of books, writers and literary uh, excellence held in a place called Gaithersburg, Maryland. NPR's Maureen Corrigan described the festival in this way. It's like a little treasure, and I certainly agree. The festival started in 2010 and was conceived by then council member, now mayor of Gaithersburg, Judd Ashman, with the support of a then mayor, and I'm very proudly might add, a guy by the name of Sidney Katz, who was on the, uh, on the uh, city uh, and the cultural arts and advisory committee along with the city council. The book festival has been praised as one of America's premier book festivals, and people come from near and far to attend this event celebrating the power of the written word to transform you, to take you away to faraway places. As was mentioned, we're gonna have over 100 award-winning and best-selling authors in all genres, as well as the interactive writing workshop, a children's village, book sales, author signings, and more. Please come on Saturday, May 18th. I don't know if Judd remembers the day, but on Saturday, May 18th, to celebrate the 15 years of the festival. I was mentioning earlier that several years before Judd got involved in this, the city of Gaithersburg tried to do a book festival, but we had never met a guy like Judd Ashman, whose passion was the one that got us way over the line from where we needed to be. You start these festivals, and I think everyone realizes that when you start these festivals, there's things that work and things that don't work, and there's people that support you and people that say you shouldn't do this, yada, yada. Judd Ashman got us through all of that so that we can have one of the, and not the, best festivals that we have in Gaithersburg. So I sincerely congratulate not only the book festival, but a guy by the name of Judd Ashman. Thank you very much. We're going to turn it over to Gaithersburg Mayor Judd Ashman. Thank you very much, Lorianne and Sydney, and to the entire uh, county council. 
all of whom have played some role in the book festival over the years, including Council Member Jawanda, who spoke at the book festival for when he had his uh, book released. I wanted to um, uh, recognize a couple of the members of our committee, Melissa King, who, by the way, is up uh, is a finalist for our School Librarian of the Year in the state of Maryland. And Nicole Yucatietti. And I want to recognize uh, my colleague from the City Council, uh, Lisa Henderson, and also Gene uh, Taft. I forgot Gene Taft. Gene is one of the longest uh, serving members of our book festival committee. I think when I came up with the idea for the book festival, the very first person that I pitched it to was Sidney A. Katz, who was the mayor at the time. I'm not sure he had an idea of the scale I had in mind, but, but yeah, that he here we are. <laughs> He didn't, he says, he didn't. Um, from that point to this point, we are now the largest book and author event in the state of Maryland. We are the largest outdoor uh, book festival in the DMV. I, I um, couch that with outdoor because the National Book Festival is obviously larger. Um, and I think the secret to the Gaithersburg Book Festival's success has been that this is a truly community uh, built event. It, it's it's driven and programmed by volunteers, and the logistics are dealt with um, and handled expertly by our city staff. We have amazing partners, including Politics and Pros, uh, and C-SPAN, uh, Montgomery County Public Schools, Public Libraries, Montgomery College, you name it. Uh, people in this community, organizations in this community are part of our event. Um, and while I, I will also note that while it's called the Gaithersburg Book Festival, um, it belongs to everybody. It was built to be a regional festival, whether you are in Gaithersburg or Bethesda or Burtonsville or Poolsville or wherever in this county or in the region, this is your festival too, and there's room for you to be part, part of it, either planning it or uh, participating in it one way or another. And so we hope you'll be there um, on May 18th. Um, it is free to attend and free to park, and all the details are at GaithersburgBookFestival.org. We have over 130 authors coming this year, winners of all the major Pulitzer Prize, National Book Award, National Book Critics Circle, um, Newberry Honor, Newberry, um, Caldecott Honor, all of the different major awards and bestsellers. Uh, so check it out, and we hope that you will be with us. And we thank the County Council so much for this recognition. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mayor Ashman. Now we're going to hear from Politics and Prose owner Brad Graham. Uh, well, just listening to, to Judd uh, talk about the festival, I, 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 I think you can recognize the, the passion and the vision uh, that he's brought to the uh, to the event. It's what I um, had an inkling of when he first came to me, uh, not, not, not at the very beginning of the festival, but after it had existed for a year or two, he approached us and said, you know, would we be a part of it? Would we provide, provide the books? And um, I thought, well, you know, let's, let's give it a try. And so I've watched it grow uh, over the last uh, decade, decade and a half into what it is today. And I actually have a frame of comparison because we also uh, support the National Book Festival uh, at the Convention Center every year and really uh, Gaithersburg now draws more authors to its festival than the National Book Festival and is every bit as well organized and it's really a very exciting thing to have have been a, a part of um, but I will just second what what Sydney said earlier which is this would not have happened if it would not not and wouldn't be continuing as as it as it is if not for for Judd. So he's a re real treasure to this community, and I and I think the city of Gaithersburg and the county of Montgomery uh, deserve a lot of credit for supporting a festival like this because you know a community that reads that that um, uh, promotes uh, a, a, a book festival has heart, has understanding, and has wisdom. And um, so we're very, very uh, pleased to, uh, to continue on with the Gaithers Book, Book, Book Festival. Thank you, Politics and Prose and Brad, for your remarks and continued support of the festival. Now we'll hear from C-SPAN Book TV producers, Leona Blakey and John McArdle. Um, even during the pandemic, 
this book festival continued. And so I want to commend and thank uh, C-SPAN for their innovation and the book festival committee as well for all of their hard work to ensure that we never missed a moment to bring this event to the community. So C-SPAN is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year. And C-SPAN realized pretty early on uh, that books, nonfiction books, are a great uh, place to find public policy and history and fits in with the mission of C-SPAN of bringing people where public policy is discussed. So Book TV has been around for 25 years. We just celebrated our 25th anniversary. We've been at the Gaithersburg Book Festival for 15 years since it started with during the pandemic. and. Uh, I looked it up on our website. We've actually covered 99 different events at the Gaithersburg Book Festival, all that you can see uh, at, at booktv.org. Um, last year, it was about four and a half or five hours of programming. Uh, if you add it all up, it's something like four days of programming of the Gaithersburg Book Festival you can watch. Uh, we've done a few more from politics and prose over the years. We always appreciate you having C-SPAN there as well. Uh, but it's a great event. It's a great book festival. Uh, we cover something about 15 to maybe 20 book festivals a year, uh, but this is one we always uh, do go to since it started because they get so many great authors from the D.C. area uh, and a lot of these public policy events that our audience is really interested in. Um, one thing I will add uh, that, uh, so you can watch book TV on Sundays on C-SPAN 2 uh, every Sunday, 24 hours of nonfiction book programming. On C-SPAN 2 on Saturdays, it's American History TV, different events from American history over the years. And uh, last year, I would just note, because of what just happened up here a few minutes ago, we went to the Holocaust uh, Museum and Memorial in DC and interviewed survivors. And one of the survivors we interviewed who was there last year was Peter Garag, who was just up here accepting the proclamation. So if you want to hear his story, uh, cspan.org is where you can go and you can listen to his very passionate story uh, from the Holocaust Museum. So on this Holocaust Remembrance Day, um, it was very coincidental that he was here as well, and we were there last year. So anyway, we're excited to be back at the Book Festival. Thanks for having us. We'll be your fly on the wall, so everybody around the country can watch what you guys do here and do such a great job doing here. So thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, John and Leona. Hopefully you'll join us, and now I'm going to read the proclamation with Councilmember Katz. Whereas the Gaithersburg Book Festival celebrates the written word and its power to enrich the human experience, its mission is to foster an interest in reading, writing, and literary conversation, and... Whereas, since its inception in 2010, the festival has quickly become one of the nation's top literary events, attracting hundreds of award-winning authors and best-selling poets and songwriters from across the country to its beautiful park setting, and... Whereas the event was conceived and introduced by Gaithersburg Mayor, then Council Member Judd Ashman, with the support of the Mayor and City Council and Cultural Arts uh, Advisory Committee, the festival is produced by a talented committee comprised of city staff and a dedicated group of volunteers who donate their time and talent and... Whereas the festival is celebrating its 15th anniversary of books, writers, and literary excellence by promoting its high school poetry contest, writing workshops for adults, teens, and children, and special events such as an evening with former two-time U.S. Poet Laureate Billy Collins and... Whereas the 2024 Gaithersburg Book Festival will be held on May 18th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Boer Park and will be featured uh, more than 100 authors and illustrators from around the world, funded in part by generous sponsors and supported by the city of Gaithersburg. The festival offers programming for all ages, is free to attend, and is open to everyone. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby congratulates the Gaithersburg Book Festival on its 15th anniversary 
and encourages all residents to attend the 2024 festival to celebrate the importance of reading, writing, and literary conversation presented on this 16th day of April in the year 2024 by Council Member Sales, Council Member Katz, and Council President Friedson and the entire County Council. Thank you.